Because if we hear it click again, we're gonna have to use like, we're just gonna have to use a phone. Yes. So I have, I have a camera. It's all right. I wouldn't know how to hook the microphone up to it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not actually plugged in. That's for that's for aesthetics. Ah, I see. I'm not sure who the it's for. <laughs> hey, folks. I'm Brian. I'm Aaron. This is Aaron. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a, a pilot episode for a little whiskey review show or whiskey entertainment show, a show involving whiskey to some degree. Daily episodes. Daily. You're gonna need a lot more whiskey. Yeah, okay. Uh, and also more editing time. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be rough. It's not gonna be real good because we're flying off the cuff right now. Totally flying off the cuff. And Aaron, uh, would you like to speak to the amount of whiskey knowledge that you have? Um, yeah, so um, if we start with you know, the baseline whiskey knowledge and we just kind of bring it around down to my level of whiskey knowledge and then back up to the baseline, mm -hmm. we can see the, the chart of my whiskey knowledge. It's a zero. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, hmm. Didn't land, that's all right. We can cut that out. We can totally cut that out. It's fine. It's and it's, it's not really zero anymore because I've lived with you for a couple months now and I've absorbed some by osmosis. Yeah. Well, much like I've absorbed some whiskey by osmosis. Do I just radiate it? I, a little bit. I mean, have you sniffed your arm recently? Um. <laughs> I you uh, uh, would safe to say a whiskey novice. Yes. You have a, a baseline um, curiosity about it. Yes, I've been bludgeoned into accepting a, a curiosity about it, yeah. and so uh, that's what I'm working with. Okay, I am by no means an expert, but I know enough to be dangerous, is what I would say about myself. And so this uh, this show is going to be like 90% entertainment and like 10% education, because mm -hmm. that's all I'm probably capable of. Fast and loose. Fast and loose! Mm. So, I think what we should do, um, do you want to just, uh, do you want to have some whiskey? Sure, let's have some whiskey. So I'll just give like super basic overview. It's gonna zoom in on me, and then it's gonna like cut over. I'm gonna say it zooms in, and I'm gonna zoom in on yeah. me to be cool. But it's gonna zoom in on me, and then I'm gonna have a little uh, drawn chart where it's just like whiskey. That's the broad category. Whiskey is a spirit that is distilled from grains. It's alcohol distilled from grain uh, and aged in barrels. And then under whiskey, and again, I'm not going to go too crazy deep. I'm not going to talk about the history and stuff. I'll be for a different time, or even the specifics and the rules. I'm just going to talk about styles. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people think like, oh, do you like bourbon? What do you like whiskey? What do you like this? It's like all of it's whiskey, uh, but there are different styles of whiskey. So you have Irish, you have Scotch, you have bourbon, uh, you have um, just American whiskey, which is. Bourbon is technically an American whiskey, but there's differentiation between the two. Uh, that that bourbon has certain requirements that it has to meet to be considered bourbon. And then you have uh, Canadian and Japanese and a couple of variations of styles there. My main focus, as far as like what I know about, is is Scotch, Irish, and bourbon. Uh, I know a little bit about rye whiskey uh, and a little bit about uh, Canadian. I, it's Canadian's not my deal. I don't like Canadian whiskey. I just don't like it. Maybe there's one that I haven't tried that I would like a lot. But from what I've tried, I like Irish bourbon and Scotch. I don't really have a preference; they're just different to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've not really had a lot of occasion to try Japanese whiskey. I think you might like Japanese whiskey. Maybe so. Yeah, just because like Jap Japanese man, they take as with almost everything they do, they take it and they turn it into like an art form. What I can do? Do you want me to bring out like different styles, like really entry level proofs? different styles, and you can side by side them and kind of decide which direction you want to go with it. Yeah, let's do the entry level sweet. Entry level sweet. High editing, Brian. Can I read it through monkey shoulder? Yes, I, I have passing through you. monkey shoulder. The Irishman, Larceny, and that bottle is too full for me to tell. But I can cheat because it's also on the back. Old Forester. And now we're back, the magic of editing. <laughs> what I brought for you is some really pretty basic entry level, um, not crazy high proof, except for the Rise of a High Proof, but this is a really approachable, affordable, easy to find ride that I think is really good. And I'm not even a rye guy. What we've got here is we've got a bourbon, 
This is a, a weeded bourbon. Um, it's larcenate, it's made by Heaven Hill. I'm not gonna go crazy to the details of these, the recipes, the history, the distilleries, and things like that. We're just gonna drink and see what you like. So, weeded bourbons tend to be sweeter, a little bit more um, soft, mm -hmm. not so like bitey and spicy. So I thought maybe that'd be pretty good for you. This is just a really solid representation of like a simple pot still Irish whiskey. Monkey Shoulder is like my recommendation for anybody looking to get into scotch that doesn't want the aggressive, smoky, like bitey scotches, and that's what they think of when they think of scotch is like that um, campfire type deal. I've had a couple of sips from your collection yeah. that were just like, hmm, I'm now sucking on a piece of ash. Yeah, <laughs> chewing on a log. And then this is a rye. So rye, again, rye is, a, is, is similar in profile to bourbon, but it's spicier, a little more floral, things like that. I like to make cocktails of rye because it tends to stand up to mixing uh, a little better than like the sweeter ones. So, do you want to go from east to west or west to east? Um, let's go east to est. <laughs> Closest to me, let's do it. Okay, so we're going, we're going to start in the Americas. We're gonna do bourbon first. What we're gonna do is you're gonna try um, side by side, two different styles. Side by side, different styles. The one that wins moves on to the next round. Try against the next one. The one who wins moves sure. on to the next round, and then there you go. We're not gonna go crazy, and this is gonna be our dump cup. So you just, because right, it's gonna get a lot to sip on here. So, okay, so this is larceny. And this is the rye. This is an Old Forest rye. Dude, for the money, this is like a really good rye. Mm -hmm. Smell them, drink them, whatever. Sure. What I like to do, I like to recommend to people that are trying whiskey, they're not big whiskey drinkers, is to give it a couple sniffs. You don't have to sit there and, and like, you know, swirl it and do all the pretentious stuff that comes across a little funny. Um, take a sip, especially as your palate's kind of acclimating to the first few sips. Um, sip it like you're drinking very hot coffee. And just kind of sit and take a little sip, pull it back. The next sip, I usually let it roll around my mouth a little more, kind of coat the tongue, um, and then drink that, and, and don't take it right back like a shot because that, you just get the burn of the flavor. So, no, my my uh, nose is not quite as uh, developed as yours, shall we say? So yeah. it's not a well. There's there's whatever you you get is just what you're gonna have experience in smelling. Um, there's no wrong answers. I'm not gonna give any suggestions, but what do you smell? You kind of get initially. Uh, I think a little bit of honey. Okay. Sort of. Yeah. It's it's got some nice like natural sweetness to it. Doesn't yeah. feel like a like a green sugar. That's a super a common. Granular. Yeah, super common thing to get in bourbon is honey, especially rooted bourbons. Maybe some like caramel, brown sugar, something like that. Yeah. This one has the the decency has the burn to stay in the mouth area. It doesn't. What, what was the, the name you call it? Was the burn all the way down? The Kentucky Hug. The Kentucky Hug, yeah. <laughs> Takes some water. Sponsored by... No, I thought... Oh, can we... We can. Life Water. Sponsored me. For some reason. I'm not sure why you do that, but go ahead and do that. I'll try, I'll try, to, try the ride. Tell me what your, uh, what your thoughts are. Give me some comparison. This one's very pure. Yeah. That was a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, What's the proof on that? A little bit less age to it. Uh-huh. Uh, it's alkaline. Ah. Yeah, the, right off the bat, the smell is a lot more uh, intense than the other one. Okay, intense, okay. Ooh, that one almost hits a little more sour than, okay. than this one here. And this one, this one hit with the, the sweetness right away. Okay. This one tasted more sour right off the bat to me. More sour? Interesting. Definitely still getting the, um, the sourness. Okay. A little bit of spicy, I think. Yeah. Um, Sort of give me that same tongue tingly that a, that a jalapeno might. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd commit to the word salty, but it's definitely the sort of impression. Yeah, that's, that's what you're getting. And, and really quick before we move on, uh, the, the order in which you drink whiskey is going to greatly impact uh, how you experience the whiskey. So if you have something that's extremely aggressive and extremely smoky or extremely bitey or high proof, and then you take it down to something that's 40%, um, you're going to get a lot less um, out of it, I think. Uh, in general, just because it's going to taste so mild in comparison. It's kind of like drinking espresso and drinking coffee. It's just going to taste a little bit more watery. And also, throughout the day, if you're, depending on what you eat or what you drink, it's going to kind of, ex you know, express in different ways. I've had whiskeys where I drank it and I was like, wow, that's amazing. And then I would try a couple days later and I'd be like, ah, it's not as good as I remember it. And then vice versa. Um, trying these back to back to back, 
Ideally, it's not super what you want to do, but kind of taking breaks in between, drinking some water, cleansing the palate, it's a good idea. Nice. All right, dump these. Dump it in the dump right. glass. Dump it in the dump glass. Adios. I'm sure you'll get drunk at some point. Yep. Yeah. So who, who won, by the way? Um, I'd have to give it to Larceny. That's, that was this one. It's a solid burden. All right, so we're going from uh, we're going from west east. So we're gonna go to next. Week, we're gonna go to Ireland. Larceny's still in the fight. Mm -hmm. Larceny's in the fight. Those two against each other. Oh, is that what you want to do? You want to go bracket style? Yeah. We're going bracket style. Me as well. So this is a uh, Scotland versus Ireland here. So uh, again, not gonna go super into the descriptions of the, the differences between styles of whiskey, but um, uh, there definitely are, are certain similarities between Scotch and Irish whiskey. Um, really, the end qualification for an Irish whiskey. It has to be distilled in Ireland, and a Scottish whiskey has to be distilled in Scotland. The interesting thing about Irish whiskey is, nope, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not, do, we're not doing history right now. That's a different episode. That's for the solo episode. Yeah. Well, I'm not trapped here. All right, right. Drink it. All right. Sure. Drink it. Okay. Definitely smells very different than the, than either of the previous two. But, okay. Um, yeah, that one tastes almost not even there compared to a uh, Old Forester. Hmm. A little bit of that same sort of natural taste to it. Like, um, I don't want to say wood because that's so cheating. They're all wood. They're all <laughs> wood. Like maybe like but, earthiness? Um, yeah, that, that'd be the word for it. Yep, some earthiness to it. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I'm not I'm not sure I can pull out many more adjectives for it. Yeah, so now, now that I've sort of closed my description of it, how would you describe this one? Monkey Shoulder is a scotch. It's a space size scotch, and uh, the Irishman is an Irish whiskey. But, um, the difference between uh, bourbon and uh, scotch is that the bourbon is aged in new oak barrels and the scotch is aged in used oak barrels, quite often uh, used bourbon barrels. So uh, the kind of the more of the, the hit of the spice and the bite from bourbon uh, is due to the fact that it's aged in, in new oak barrels. And then once it gets to the scotch, it's, it's tamped down quite a bit. Um, and bourbon is a at least 51% corn mash bill. So the recipe for the mash itself, for the, the distillate that's put into the barrel, is corn. So it's gonna have more of a sweet property. Um, it's gonna have a little bit more of that like uh, um, candy kind of kind of deal. Um, whereas scotch is malted barley. And so scotch has a little bit more uh, rounded flavor to me, um, a little bit more um, kind of that maltiness, that kind of that earthy kind of, kind of deal. So yeah, that's pretty solid. This one definitely tastes a little more bitter than either of the two. Mm. I think this one is probably the higher proof one. Um, Interesting. It's based off of how it hurts my mouth hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what do you do? Let me just double mm. share. Let me double share. <laughs> yeah, so this is that's the monkey shoulder, and this is the uh, this is the uh, Irish. Um, oddly enough, that this is actually only forty percent. Really? I believe this is only 43%. That's correct. So this is actually higher proof. And both of the ones you tried before that, that's the lowest proof one. That's so interesting. Maybe maybe I've just been worn down by uh, maybe my sheer inexperience. Uh, no, I mean... I'm just mean, being bullied. You like what you like. So like often, uh, often uh, so Irish is, is typically made out of uh, unmalted barley. Um, and so they, it tends to, to me, to, it's a little bit more rounded, a little bit more uh, buttery, and kind of like a like a, a buttered biscuit, like shortbread cookie type deal. Uh, but that's interesting that the lowest proof one you found the most <laughs> kicked me in the teeth. The most, the most, the most fight in. It might just be because I don't particularly care for the flavors of this one very much. Dump it. Get, Get out, out of here. Yeah. All right. So what? So so far okay. we like the bourbon and the scotch. So mm. far, an unknown amount of footage has just been lost. I'm gonna pop the cork on that one. There. We're on to the finals. We've got uh, Larceny, a weeded bourbon, versus Monkey Shoulder, a space size scotch. You know what I am learning right now? Okay. I really don't want to drink any more whiskey at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> just. Well, then just pick a winner. It just. Uh, well, let's wrap it's all right. Take it home. It's fine, it's wood, a um, little bitterness to it. Um, Larceny wins. Larceny wins! Arbitrarily! Almost. Woo! Okay, so that's good to know. So you like, uh, uh, what, what, what about Larceny did you like? So let's say one, two, three, four in order, perhaps? Uh, bourbon, scotch, rye, and then Irish? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about Larceny did you like? 
the, the way it came on was not like super kicky in the teeth, but mm. still had some bite to it. Mm. Uh, let you know that, yeah, this, this is a lot of alcohol in here. Um, it's like the sweetness? Yeah, it was not quite as aggressively, um, I guess I just used that, but it, it was uh, easier to deal with. Mm. And uh, as, uh, as more of a wine guy myself, um, I, I appreciate the, the sweeter whiskeys. Gotcha, that makes sense, cool. Well, uh, this is obviously, for somebody who's not a whiskey person, just coming in and trying to drink straight whiskey a bunch of them at one time, it's gonna be uh, kind of a challenge, <laughs> and you spoke to it very well, but um, as, as a whiskey noob, I think that obviously you can take this, you can get whiskeys that, that, that are similar to this, they can stand up to ice, you can put it in ice, you can kind of tamp it down with a little bit of water and kind of work your way into it, mm -hmm. if that's something that you're interested in doing uh, and getting more into the world of whiskey. So that's good to know that you like things maybe a little bit more sweet and a little bit uh, more approachable in that direction. So right. I'll know for next time and I'll cater to it like that. So I'm gonna tr actually drink the, um, let's see what we got here. I'm sure so you blend up all the whiskeys. Transcontinental dump jar, what do we got? It got kind of flat. Yeah, the flavor's starting to work again. It tastes like, yeah, it tastes like, it's like what, like a coat that got, that like set up too long and got flat. Hmm. I thought it'd be really good. That's right. Real quick, before we sign off, uh, one thing I want to mention is that um, I don't think we're going to have that many viewers, so this is not a high pressure situation. <laughs> but um, I want it to be fun for people who do want to watch and do want to learn and do want to engage and whatever. Um, like I said, this is going to be like 90% entertainment. Um, so if you want to see something in particular, let me know. Uh, I'll post this on my YouTube channel or something. And um, if you want to be on this, let me know. And if you have an idea for a name, let me know, because I don't know what we're going to call it right now. I have ideas for some segments, but the overall name I'm not 100% um, sure about yet. Uh, but also, if you have any comments or questions, uh, questions about specific styles of whiskey, or questions about, questions about whiskey in general, um, send them in, and we can read them as a, as a segment at the end of episodes, and that would be really fun. So, uh, Aaron's going to sign off now. Uh, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug my channel right here. Um... Brian, you have to put in one of those title card things, you know. Okay, it comes up. What's on your channel? Uh, nothing. Okay. Nothing with watching, at least. Okay. Um, and yeah.